Hi guys, in this video we'll be discussing health, disease, communicable diseases and non-communicable diseases and finally a summary. Healthy people tend to live longer and lead better quality lives. Health is also tied to disease. Disease can often cause poor health. But there's actually a difference between health and disease and it's not as simple as you may think. Health is not just the absence of disease. But what is health? Well, the definition for health is given by the World Health Organization, or WHO. And it says that health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being, not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. And infirmity basically just means weakness or frailness. So this definition given by the WHO means that even though someone may be physically fit, they may still be unhealthy. For instance, they may have mental health issues or be socially isolated. So now let's talk about disease. What does disease mean? Well, a disease is a condition that stops any part of the body from functioning properly. For instance, cardiovascular disease stops the heart from functioning properly. Also, different diseases can interact to affect many different parts of the body. Diseases can also affect the whole body. Now, as I said before, diseases are major causes of ill health. Other factors which affect health include diet and stress. This means in order to have good health, you may have to pay close attention to your diet. For instance, limiting the amount of sugar you intake. It is also important to limit the amount of stress you're exposed to. So when we're talking about disease, it's important to remember that the term disease can also be used for mental illness. For example, depression is a mental health disease. Anorexia is also another type of mental health disease. Mental health diseases can also impact on your physical health. There are two main categories of disease, communicable diseases and non-communicable diseases. And I'll be going through what these mean in this video. So first of all, let's talk about communicable diseases. Well, what are communicable diseases? Well, when diseases can spread between organisms, we call them communicable diseases, sometimes also called contagious or infectious diseases. For example, a diseased individual can pass on his or her disease to other people. Diseases can also be spread from animals to people, and they can be caused by bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites. Sneezing and coughing is one way to pass on infectious diseases to other people. Some examples of communicable diseases include tuberculosis, malaria, HIV and chlamydia, as well as many more. Tuberculosis, also known as TB, is a bacterial infection spread by inhaling tiny droplets from the coughs or sneezes of an infected person. Malaria is called by a protist that lives inside a mosquito. HIV is a virus that can be transmitted through sexual intercourse. Diseases can also be non-communicable. Non-communicable diseases are diseases that cannot be spread between people or animals. So as we saw before, a diseased individual can spread the disease to different people. This doesn't happen in non-communicable diseases. Non-communicable diseases are diseases that progressively get worse over long periods of time. This means that people get more ill every day. Some examples of non-communicable diseases include asthma, cancer and coronary artery disease. Asthma may make it difficult for a person to breathe, requiring the use of an inhaler. Coronary artery disease may cause heart attacks or chest pain. So if non-communicable diseases can't be spread, what are they caused by? Well, they can be caused by several different things, including a poor diet, genes or uncontrollable cell division. For example, a diet that doesn't include many fruits and vegetables can lead to mineral or vitamin deficiencies. The genes you inherit from your parents may also cause non-communicable diseases, for example, you may inherit a mutation that causes an inherited disorder such as cystic fibrosis. Another cause is uncontrolled cell division by the cells in your body. This can lead to cancer. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, 
Join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the Snap Revise smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.